third speaker Apu, Director Mr. Apu. General Evaluator, Mr. Pastors, and Mr. Abu in particular. Abu, when you come here, you look so comfortable. Your speech is so well put together in your own head. I just wonder how you practice it. It just flows. It came out very clear, your love for books. And you were able to bring natural humor the way you described the marks of, uh, you know, on, on the side, somber and uh, I don't know. I couldn't get that, but it's something to work. You also said how you missed that luggage. And I was wondering, what is so great about the luggage? I mean, uh, hey, it's a bit low, it's most of the time. But you kept me guessing, and I was wondering why you did not eat anything, did not drink anything. What was in that bag? And finally, you said books. So, your love of books was very, very obvious, and uh, you did come to very clearly. And not only that, uh, I think uh, you made us feel also how important the books are in life. But there are a few things that have been said. Uh, this was for the visuals. And when you brought the visuals here, we quickly and easily see what the visuals are all about. It's supposed to be even covered. You know, for, for the big surprise, it would have been nice if you had brought it in a piece of cloth and you have put it there and we would be wondering what it's all about. So uh, the way that you handled the book and you said, and I hope I'm holding your book correctly, the spine, right? <laughs> and I promise you I haven't folded any pages here. The use of your language was very interesting. I liked it. Uh, your language flows very natural. The way you expressed your language was very, very interesting. I would like to point out what you You said uh, uh, the guy, you know, if you asked him for the guitar, uh, and he would look, look at you with such apprehension, it would break your every hope. I, that was something that I was remembering. Then, when you said, uh, if you lose a child, you can make another one. Uh, I think uh, that was uh, not a very pleasant humor. We would like to be a bit more subtle with your humor. Then you, then you said the joy of suitcase, of seeing your suitcase, uh, made you feel so good. Even it give us the feeling that you felt happier to see your suitcase full of books than to give it to lower. And you got a good love for that. So on the whole, I would say uh, that one other thing, if you were speaking about books only all the time. Love, some of us, we love books, but there are others who love have other passions. So if you were talking about passions, uh, you could have given some other examples that we have to on the whole, I would say your uh, speech was very enjoyable. The props you used were very appropriate and uh, made sense. And I look forward to your next speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today has been the uh, most wonderful day uh, that we have established speeches. And equally, such great evaluations. I think uh, Mr. Nall was right on now that they evaluated you. Uh, I have never heard someone speak with so much passion on a book. So I think all the passion was here, purposeful and very sincere. One of the finest pieces I've heard on a visual book. Here are the elements. The only thing uh, which I told you at the break was 
this photon will go for down the rings and uh, this is vision A, the time to go to something else. This photon will go down the ring and the ring will green in color. Since it's vision A, we tend to get that more. It's such a small thing. Uh, you have so many of this book, probably you have to the right book at all. That's about it uh, as much as uh, I have to say. I am still wondering why you did not take part in the speech conference. Or did you take part and uh, I was in Japan. I was in Japan. In Japan, yeah, in Japan. <laughs> Those parts of India need to work. <laughs> Hope to see you at the speech conference next year. Uh, lovely speech, great evaluation. Who don't have a cost to put? <laughs> <laughs>